Welcome back. You're watching Newsmaker Live on DBS. I'm Kendall Burton. I'm speaking with Michael Flood of the United Workers Party. Before our break, we were talking about political, ideolo um, ideological, uh, and philosoph philosophical um, differences between political parties or the absence of those um, uh, philosophies. As I was saying to you, every year or every election time, you have a bunch of candidates who take a platform and make a case for why they should be elected and it's largely based on promises to fix roads and to address crime and to address corruption but there is no clear statement on philosophies or ideologies that differentiate those parties so that I can say as a potential voter or potential supporter or party member that this is what I subscribe to this is what I believe and so I'm going to align myself with this political party as opposed to the other rather than the, the blind allegiance, political allegiance that you, you alluded to earlier. Why doesn't, isn't there that clear distinction between its political parties? And I mentioned earlier that, so that's why I think it is so easy for people to shift. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I understand where, where, where you come with the statement you're mm -hmm. making. But you see, you see again, over, over the years, uh, our po po political support in St. Lucia has mm -hmm. emerged from my, my, my parents or my foreparents being a supporter of the UWP or supporter of the United Workers Party. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's it kind of inculcated in the children in today's generation. Mm -hmm. And by virtue of you know, your parents supporting, you would, you, you would follow. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, believe, I believe, of course, there, there, there need to be a, 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 a clear statement by, by all candidates or political parties leading up to, to a general election. So much so that I, I think it is high time we do like other countries where um, they, we have the opposing candidates facing each other on, 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 on national media, whether on television or on, on mm -hmm. radio, moderated. Mm -hmm. Okay, specific questions come in from the public, not necessarily from the moderator, but from the public. Of course, if you if you if you to take the presidential um, elections in the U in, in, in the U.S., where the, 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 the candidates or the contenders were faced with, with questions or answer had to answer questions from, from 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 the supporters, and unless unless we could do that and and to differentiate um, ourselves from the other mm -hmm. or from the rest, of, of course we will co will continue be to, to be faced with with, with with the notion that of course there. Is no difference between the political parties. Okay, I believe you have a call. Good evening, caller. You're on the air. Good night, Kendall. Hi, good evening. Yeah, good night to your guest. Good night to you, sir. I joined your program late, but I just want to find out if your gu your, your your guest had um, apologized to um, being so unruly on, on national te television some time ago, cursing and stuff like that. I just I, I just want to find out if if he did apologize to the national. Um, the, 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 the public because I saw him very unruly and, and, and cursing and all kind of thing on national television. That's all I have to say. I'm not going to indulge in that. Okay. Yeah. And that, that is your right. Um, do you think the political parties have a role to play in educating the electorate? Yes, um, and my reason for saying that mm -hmm. is, of course, like I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. if we were to go back to the George Odlam era in the 1981, 82, 83 era, mm -hmm. George Odlam really educated St. Lucians as far as politics is, mm -hmm. is concerned. And I think um, the little education there is in politics, we should attribute it to, 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 to George Odlam. And I believe it is an indictment on, on the two leading political parties in St. Lucia, my party, the United mm -hmm. Workers Party, and the St. Lucia Liberal Party, having have not done so sufficiently enough to educate the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the voters, the masses, as to, you know, the way forward. I think we, we, we're still stuck in the, in the politics of the 60s and, and, and the 70s, and we need to move away from that. Mm -hmm. We must move away from it. Back in, in 1997, um, you suffered defeat at the polls. Well, the, uh, we have a call. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good evening, Mr. Flood. Good evening to you, sir. Mr. Flood, it was it's interesting to listen to you making a point that um, a political party should not trust somebody who has moved from one um, political party to the next. Mm -hmm. And you made reference in that statement to the fact, in fact that was your comment, that it appears that most of the migration is from the United Workers Party to the Labour Party. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, though. I want to bring to your attention that Mr. Peter Josie, 
who is currently serving on the executive at the grocery um, constituency level, we, was a very strong supporter of the Labour Party, and I and I could remember him distinctly at a political campaign in 1992, stating that somebody needs to get their head chopped off if they had moved across <laughs> the floor, and that you made reference to the migration being from the United Workers Party to the Labour Party. And, and I think you're not being honest and truthful because the Labour Party is actually the breeding ground of polit politi politicians in the nation. And most of your candidates and members of your parties from the inception came from the Labour Party. And I can, you know, I can take you back to to um, Alan Busky and J.M.B. Busky and Vincent Monrose and John Compton and Lawson Cauldron and Peter Josie and all these guys and I can continue to name all of them and that you have embraced yet you say they should not be trusted so why do you have them within your party and why do you affiliate yourself with them if that is the case I, I find it being very hypocritical on your part and dishonest on your part to make that statement and yet you sit down with these guys as a member of the executive of the united workers party and you associate yourself with them you affiliate yourself with them and you say they should not be trusted and you claim that they are coming from one direction which is not true the labor party has produced more guys politicians that has migrated on the other side because they're not getting their way or having their way within the ranks and fight of, of, of the labor party and most political parties, their politicians, were bred by the Labour Party. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you very much, sir. You see again, Kendall, uh, this is the statement I made a while mm -hmm. ago. Some of us, we are so myopic in our thinking. Mm -hmm. I never said that the people or all, all the, 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 peop the people that are moving are moving from UWP. I said most. Mm -hmm. And the records will prove it. Most of the people diverting from one party to another is, 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 is are people leaving or they're not satisfied with, with, with um, whatever within the UWP and, and, and they move across to the other side because they believe the, 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 the bed, the bed is, is, is sweeter or softer on the other side. Mm -hmm. But for you, know, again, again, myopic thinking and solutions will, 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 will Prance upon you know a statement I made where he did not get all 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 the the, the, the information that that was given and say that I, I'm I'm not I'm not trustworthy or, or or whatever. I mean, back in the days of of Sir John, um, J M de Buske or the Buske brothers mm -hmm. and, and and Mallet and them. Of course, one will understand what happened at the time. There was a breakup. There was a breakup, and that happened in, in 1964. The UW was formed. Mm -hmm. Okay, you telling me you want? To, uh, of course, we need to get away from the ninety. That's why I said a while ago we need to get away from the politics of the sixties and seventies and move into the twenty-first century. Okay, we have another caller. Good evening, caller. Good evening. Hi, how are you, um, Mr. Fred? President, good evening to you. Good evening. Um, with reference to the question that was posed by the caller, who so proudly professes support for the Labour Party, um, I don't think that the UWP is in a position to defend anything that has not yet been substantiated. Um, this report is quite leading, and mm -hmm. I think, in my, well, again, in my opinion, it's rather open to innuendos. Um, if the findings of this report were definitive, then in my opinion, a defense rather, rather an explanation should, have been, should be forthcoming from the United Workers' Party. Um, I am not, however, advocating that the accusations made by this report, if proven to be true, that all involved parties shouldn't be held accountable. Um, but rather, I am rather, I, I am rather suspicious, however, um, that, uh, of this report's motive. I think it was a lot more politically driven than it was justice driven. In my opinion, I think corruption is corruption is corruption, and the Labour Party is not the authority on integrity. Um, in, I can recall in the nine-year reign of the Labour Party, there are seven scandals. So one, you have the NCA scandal, you have the Rochamel scandal, um, you also have the East Coast, um, the East Coast Road over cost overrun scandal, you have the Hellenite scandal, you have the Helen Air scandal, you have the QAT fund scandal of 2004, and uh, of late, we now have this Greenberg scandal. To date, we are yet to receive an explanation of several of, on several of these wrongdoings. For those where something was merely said in relation to the act, um, it was nothing to provide a proper explanation on these issues. 
there is a saying that if you live in a glass house, you do not throw stones. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you can respond to that? Uh, well, uh, of course, I, 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 I can respond to it, of course. I, have, I, haven't, I think I've known this caller from, from the time he was born. Okay. Um, uh, yes, I, I, I understand the, po the point he made. Of course, um, when, when, when you're in government, you, you say and do one thing. When you're in opposition, you, you do and say another. Mm -hmm. Um, this is why I said I cannot defend and will not defend that, that um, uh, um, Taiwanese fund scandal because I do not have the information. Um, I, I believe to a certain extent um, that the, the, the Central Shalom Party or the, or, or, or the ruling government should do something about it because if they have the information, I believe something needs to be done. The question is why nothing can be done or nothing will be done. Of course, this is this is another question that that, that they may that they may, they may have to answer. But uh, yes, I, I I think that there are there are so many scandals from you know the the the, the, the former Labour government, mm -hmm. um, the former UWB government, and and even now. This, this new Labour government, there, there are issues that, um, uh, of course, you, you heard it over the media. Let's take, for, for instance, the, the Bonte Bridge, mm -hmm. where, where, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's a, it's a, it's a huge box called it. You know, it costs six point something million dollars. Whereas um, in Soufre, uh, that, uh, there is a bridge that spans much wider than that Bonte Bridge, and it costs a, a lot less than 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 than, than um, uh, the Bonte Bridge, the Bonte the Bonte Culvert. Because mm. in Sufre we have a river flowing under that bridge, mm -hmm. whilst in Bonte we have uh, water flowing through that that culvert when it rains. Mm -hmm. You know, so there are a number of issues that 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 that, that could be taken up and, and that needs to be addressed by by the government. Okay, we have a few minutes left. We have another call online. Good evening, caller. Good night, Kendall. How are you doing? I'm good, and how are you? Fine, thank you, and good night to your guest, Mr. Michael Flood. Good night to you, sir. And also good night to the last caller, Mr. Tandy Flood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to say... You um, didn't have to expose the mask. Um, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Michael Flood. Yeah. I saw the, um, the clip that the, the caller, I think about two callers alluded to. I don't want mm -hmm. to delve into the, mm -hmm. the politics of the day. Mm -hmm. And um, you are a man I respect very highly. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Gaspar Henry. Mm -hmm. I've spoken to you concerning my my charitable organization. I have it, I don't hide behind phones. Uh, you know you. I, I mean you know who I am. Yeah, of course. Very and well. I think um, the caller asked you to apologize because I saw it, and to me, you lost it, my brother. And I think um, one should reach a stage in life, you know, when um, when he. He screwed up. He screwed up, and I think um, you you owe it to me as a as a colleague, <laughs> and you owe it to the people of Saint Lucia to eat humble pie, my brother. You have to apologize because you lost it. You know, so I am I am re reiterating that in the last few minutes that on the, that you have on this show, that you apologize to, uh, to the people of this country for screwing up on national TV. Good night. Thank you very right. much, caller. Thank you very much, dear friend. Of course, I, I, if, if we were to address that, it, it is a situation that I, I, I found myself, well, my, my sister found herself in, where, you know, again on con uh, convention day, where, you know, an overzealous supporter of a particular side, mm -hmm. uh, of which I, I will not say, found it was fitting to, to exclude my sister on the, 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 the list of delegates. Mm -hmm. And it was something that was not... It was not said um, to the media, and if I, I honestly, if I knew the media was there, you know, you would never have heard that from Michael Flood. Because mm -hmm. if there is one thing, I, I think this is the first time St. Lucians probably have seen or heard that coming from me. And of course, I, I, I understand where, 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 where you're coming from, dear friend. And, and if, if I'm, I'm one who, who believes in, in, in making amends with, with my people, and, and if, if my people are offended by, by what they saw or, or heard on, tel on television, I say to them, I'm, I'm, I'm truly sorry. Because this, is, this, is not, this is not a true reflection of who Michael Flood is. Yeah, thank you very much. We have another caller, final caller. Good evening. Yes, good evening, sir. You are our final caller. What's on your mind? Yes, good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Let me tell you something. St. Lucia is just 287 square miles. And I can tell you from today on, politics is killing the economy of this country right now. Hmm. And I can guarantee you from now till the next election, all we're going to hear is about chastity and this one and that one and that one of politics. We're not, we're not um, focusing on developing the country. And trust me, I'm not I'm telling you here now. From now till the next general election, it's 
politics and politics and politics. All the talk show programs, day and night, is politics and politics and politics. And we're not focusing in developing the country. We are in a bad state in this country here. And we all know the only thing that St. Lucia looks out for, free money from the Taiwanese, free money from the next country, free money from the next country, and we ain't going nowhere. It's high time St. Lucia gets a grip on itself and try to uh, uh, educate the people in this country how to develop themselves and make them more pro uh, um, progressive. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carla. Final words? Well, um, what, what I will say here is, um, I think, like I said earlier, it is high time um, St. Lucians, uh, of, of course, wake up and smell the coffee. Uh, that we, it's, it, is, it is time for us to move from the, the era of, 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 of Sir John. Of course, we know Sir John did immaculate things for St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. The era of Sir John and, 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 and you know, our, our leaders back in the 60s and 70s. And for us to focus on, on taking St. Lucia or, or, or leading St. Lucia as, as you know, the, 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 what we used to be the envy of the Caribbean at one time. Um, I think, I think we've, we've lost that status and it is time that our leaders, whether SLP or UWP, that we focus on, on getting St. Lucia to, to, to where it's supposed to be as the gem in the Caribbean. And I say to my party supporters, now that a new executive is in place, whether you support it or not, it is our party. The person has been elected as, as our leader. I think it, the onus is on us for, for us to give the necessary support to ensure our party not necessarily the person, because when you support the person, it's not. Whereas you're giving the support to the person, the support is to the party for us to move forward and ensure that come next general elections, we form the government. So, Michael Flood, thank you very much for being our guest on Newsmaker Live, spending the last hour and a half with us. And thank you very much for tuning in and listening to us, uh, calling in with your questions and your comments. We look forward to doing it again next week, Wednesday, for another edition of Newsmaker Live. I'm Kendall Burton. Good night. <laughs>